Hello brothers and sisters, so Iran again, I don't even know why we're surprised at this point or even report on it at this point, threatens Israel. So let's just accept every day in some way threatens Israel. They've now unveiled the longest range drone in the world. Iran presented what it claimed to be the longest range drone in the world during a military parade that featured banners threatening Israel on Friday. The drone was one of a number of unnamed aerial vehicles that missiles that Iranian forces displayed during an event in Tehran to mark the anniversary of the deadly Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s. And it came weeks after Iran unveiled a drone that it claimed could remain airborne for 24 hours. Large signs declaring down with Israel and down with USA could be seen at Friday's event, as well as posters in Hebrew and English warning Israelis to prepare your shelters. Now again, a couple of things before I even carry on. Number one, Biden just gave them billions of dollars and prisoners for free, right? In exchange for some Iranian American citizens. Crazy. And still, big signs down with USA. Biden's cool with that. He's willing to give them more money. That's just how he rolls. And Israel has this whole thing going on with Iran the whole time. And then those liberal Jews, Haredi Jews, meeting with Raisi and saying how they support him and they're also against Israel. This same country that wants to annihilate men, women and children. How sick and evil is that? They said, our forces ensure security, peace and security, in the region and the Persian Gulf, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, at the parade. They ensure security. The same country that hijacks cargo ships that go past there, that the Americans had to move military assets there to try and stop it, that the Israelis are watching those kind of things. The same security where they are funding terrorist groups all over the Middle East that threaten not just Israel but other Muslim countries, but they're providing security. His idea of security is what we call terror. We can teach the people of the region that resistance is today's way. What forces the enemy to retreat is not submission and wavering, but resistance. They are desperate for blood and for fighting and for war. And they will have their full of that very, very shortly. And it's not going to go their way. God bless. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom.